Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I typically make a lot of fashion focused videos. Right now, however, we are in the process of kind of full time in an RV for a little bit. So we're currently moving out of our house into the RV and that means, you guessed it, my business has to come with me. So I figured I would give you guys kind of a mini tour. There's still a lot of organizing that has to be done and a lot of kind of just figuring out where stuff goes because this is a lot smaller than a three bedroom, two bathroom house. So I'm gonna give you guys just a mini little tour and then I'll keep you guys updated as we go along. Oh, one thing I do wanna show you, I'm gonna insert a couple clips right here before I show you the entire space is what this looked like before. So I'll insert a little clip here where I did a full walkthrough before we laid a finger on it. And then I'll show you a little bit of the process and then I'll show you what it looks like now. We have the cab area. So this is, it's the measurements of like a regular queen size bed. Um, window here, it comes with curtains that close. Um, there's a little vent up here. So this opens, it doesn't have a little motorized fan in here. This is just for like airflow. Um, but no leaks or anything like that. Another window over here. And then over here is where like if we put a TV in here, then this is where we hook up to get the cable. And then we have the dinette. This turns into, I believe, a full size. The cushions, since this was a rental, are like a little bit grody, but um, nothing that can't be cleaned. And it has a fridge and a freezer. That is a queen size bed. It has the corner cut off for easier walking has a round sink for here. No oven, but we do have a three burner propane stove. There is plenty of storage in here. There's the vent, works perfect. We have a microwave, we have mirror. Over here, it's like a medicine cabinet. There's a sink right here, more storage. And then this is the bathroom. So porcelain toilet, foot pump here here pretty good shape here we got a toilet paper holder on this wall and then there's a towel bar if I back up you can see it looks like it has a little dent in it but again this was a unit so a rental unit so not surprising and up here we have a skylight if you can see up here just to give a little bit more light and headroom and then up here we have a, another little vent and this one has a fan in it like a little motorized fan and there's a little switch right here that you push to get that going. Friends and stuff we were talking to they talked about how much trouble they had actually getting stuff to stick to surfaces in here this stuff is awesome and this is gripper for a variety of hard to stick to surfaces and so far we haven't had anything peel off or look like it's not going to work out this was i think i paid about 25 26 bucks for this uh, big can at home depot all right so right now it is a hot mess It kind of looks just like a big white box. Got this beadboard just on Amazon. And this is just like a vinyl wallpaper kind of beadboard that's going to go on some of the areas that are just primed. I got these. Uh, and this was, I think, about 25 bucks. This one, these are the peel and stick tiles that are going to go in the kitchen area and um, around the sink area over here. And then I paid about 60 bucks for, I got two boxes of these on Amazon too. And then I have this really fun wallpaper. This was only 12 bucks on Amazon and that's gonna end up going around the bed. So say goodbye to the big white box. Okay, so a little sneak peek here. You can see we're kind of almost done, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the bed. This came with a mattress, if you remember in the earlier part of the video. and 
that mattress had been used by, I don't know what, hundreds of people over the course of like four or five years. And it was like an older spring mattress. So we upgraded, but we found that mattresses that have this corner missing, the cheapest one I think was maybe five or $600. So we found this one we got on Amazon. It was about 170 bucks and we honestly just cut the corner off. So now we're gonna turn around. There's a big mess over here, but this overhead area is where a lot of my like storage and the stuff I ship out is gonna be in bins up there. And then you can see where this chair used to be. We ended up turning this into a desk. This is what the kitchen looks like right now. We did a lot of those peel and stick tiles from Amazon just on the back as like a backsplash. We painted everything white. Uh, you can see there's a little toaster oven right there because we, I bake a lot of things and this did not come with an oven. It just came with a stove right here. But we are going to have a little project where I get rid of this. We'll get rid of this guy and then we're going to replace this entire situation with a microwave convection oven combo. So I'll be able to use it like a microwave or I'll be able to use it like an oven. We also added this little area right here. So I have a lot of like spices and stuff in here and this is where they go when we are in motion. But when we're not in motion uh, and I'm really about to make some dinner, I can lay all my spices out here. This is great because it keeps me from kicking the coffee pot into the living room. Added more of the tiles here. Hi everybody. The hooks were already here. We just put the hook back here because I wanted to have a place to put my robe. Mike's not a robe guy, so we didn't need that. We also added this ring right here, which I think looks pretty cute and put a hand towel here. Okay, so we added a couple fuzzy rugs. I put a new shower curtain in. We added an extra towel bar here because there's two of us and sometimes we need to have two wet towels dry. I'm real extra, so obviously I added a little chair rail. Another thing we did add here was we added one of these dispensers. Back over here and you can see this is the closet over here so I promise I even let Mike have some space. <laughs> so there's the fridge. Oh I can't believe I didn't show you these. So I got a set of these on Amazon and they are you can see this one over here is open but they are completely flat almost going up against the wall and I put some of the scrap wallpaper on the back but they're just little nightstands. I sewed some of this blackout stuff into the top of it. You can see I just stitched it right along the top because originally it just came as this one layer. When I open it up all the way, we have a mini projector and we can actually watch movies in bed on that curtain. And then here I've got my zebra printer, which always saves the day. I'm, I'm gonna share with you guys my hot mess of cords. Ah, it's a mess. Hard drive, we got my Wi-Fi in there. I also have the router is in the window so we can catch a, catch a good signal. You can see behind the curtain, I can always kind of close this off, but I have a lot of stuff up here, like stuff that I sell, stuff so I can sew. My machines come up here. I have stuff that I has already pre-packaged over here. The ring light over here so that you guys can see me when I try to talk to you. <laughs> I got this at the dollar store of all places and this thing is amazing. If you just want to hand sew and it's a little dark, you can just tilt it and just hand sew right there and you have great light. So it's really great. I have enough space in between the seats where I can actually rotate her and I will pull my chair over and just fully do a drape. It's amazing. Here is a project I will film for you guys another time. Oh, and I was gonna say too, so where those hooks are in the top, this is a big net that we just got at like um, Big Five, I think. And I have hooks and so I can hook this entire thing in so when we're driving, it's nice and tight and nothing gets like messed up or nothing slides out or becomes some kind of final destination nightmare. Down here in the cab, I have, I just stored my backpack here. I have a massage chair <laughs> and all of this, like the chair, everything folds up and uh, fits back here. She can actually fit in the bed, obviously, because she is person size and I'm a person who fits in there, so she fits in there too. But her stand is a little 
like cumbersome, but that fits perfectly in the basement, no problem. Well, I hope that you really enjoyed this video. I had a great time making this over. My husband may not agree, <laughs> but we had a really good time. We're really excited for this new adventure. I have a couple of other videos coming up about how I sew in here or how I get any work done, how I process orders. Let me know what you're interested in seeing. I will catch up with you guys later and please go forth, be kind, be creative.